This is a rather unremarkable looking vacuum, but it is remarkable in one respect. It costs less than $40, which begs the question, is it any good? That's what we're going to find out on this episode of Moondog R&D. This is the Hi Hi, or Hi H H I. I don't know how to pronounce this, but if you happen to know, please leave me a comment. Uh, this is a stick vacuum cleaner uh, that uh, Hi Hi sent me to uh, test out and evaluate. So let's just do that. Let's see what we get in the box here. Here's a fairly compact box. Is everything you need to assemble to get it to full length? We have our handle here. Let's see what else we got here. We have the broom or the brush head here um, with some with wheels. Looks well. I'd say the plastic feels a little chintzy there. It does have a, a felt uh, soft brush here to pick up fine dust, and we're going to test that out. We have some other nozzles. We have a brush nozzle. And we have a funnel nozzle. We have another part of the overall handle. We have the main unit, which looks pretty much like a hand vac. So, hi, hi. Apparently it passed some sort of inspection. We have hmm, some filter pads and an instruction manual. So I'm going to take a look through the instruction manual. Always read your instruction manual before assembling, and um, we'll get started on putting this together. All right, let's start assembling this, starting with the handles, which are two pieces. And it just clicks together. There's a little locking pin under tension inside of the tube. Then we're going to screw this into the back of the vacuum handheld unit and it just falls into place there and you just turn that little ring to lock it in. Next we're going to attach the floor roller unit to the end of the catch cup and oh well, before we do that let's let's take a look at the catch cup itself. We press down on that orange square and that will well it's not releasing it will release there we go the catch cup and inside the catch cup there's the cloth filter and it comes with some replacements as well and that keeps the debris from getting into the unit and in and keeps all the debris in the, ca the clear catch cup and we just push in the floor unit nozzle there to the end and reattach it to the motor and it comes with two additional accessory nozzles there's a brush nozzle and a uh, crevice nozzle that you can swap out the floor unit for uh, and um, there we go fully assembled we should test it out we'll do that next Okay, I'm shaking out all the debris and junk that have been sucked up in my Dyson uh, hand vac. And this is a real world test. This is all the stuff that uh, has been sweeped up over the last week or so. And we're going to see if uh, the Hi Hi can sweep this up as quickly and as easily as the Dyson. Wow, okay. It's doing a really good job. I'm, I'm actually surprised and a little impressed. It's even getting you know the finer particles off the floor as well as well as as good as the Dyson has been. So wow, yeah, this is picking up um, pretty much as well as the Dyson. Um, and it doesn't have the rotating motorized brush end like the Dyson does, and you know, despite that, it still managed to pick up pretty much everything. And I've pretty much gotten all the visible debris, I'm just gonna give it a once over to make sure I got all the dust. Yeah, there you go. Done and done in a little under a minute. All right, let's take a closer look at that debris canister. And there is a fair bit of debris that got sucked up. And it's staying in there. All right, let's pop this open and take a look at that. Yep, um, the filter worked. No dust got into the blower unit. So let's empty this out and we're done. 
well, almost. Let's compare the relative loudness of these two stick vacuums, starting with a Dyson. Dyson stick vacs are notoriously loud. Now the hi-hi. While far from quiet, it is noticeably quieter than the Dyson. Let's hear that again. Alright, so we've had a chance to test out and try out this Hi-Hi, and I have to say that I am pleasantly surprised by how well this thing performed. It made very short work of all the debris that I spewed on the floor, it sucked it up, it picked it all up in under a minute. And you know, that is about as fast as my Dyson. It performed pretty much as well as my Dyson, despite costing quite a bit less. At the time of recording of this particular video, uh, this unit um, retails for less than $40, and that is also remarkable. Now, it certainly doesn't look as high-end as uh, some of the vacs out there. Um, feels, you know, there's some the pla something about the plastic and the design of it uh, and uh, just kind of feels a little chintzy. Certainly m looks well worth the $40, if not a little bit more, but it certainly doesn't feel like a, you know, like a high-end uh, Dyson or Neely. Um, it shares a lot of conventional design features of a lot of handheld uh, vacs. Uh, it doesn't have that cool tornado um, canister design that um, that Dyson uh, pioneered. It's a much more conventional um, design here using the filter and it just sucks. But it's easy enough to clean. Uh, you just press that uh, orange square and you pull out the filter and you just shake this out into your dustbin and it, it's, it's clean. Now over time, of course, this filter inside will fill up with dust and debris and you, you know, you'll you uh, you can replace it, and it appears to be that's of the type that you can also just wash uh, with some um, some detergent and some water and clean off. Um, but you know it does come with replaceable filters, and some of you may decry, oh that's the great thing about those Dyson or whatever um, copycat designs of the Dyson is that you don't have to it's it's filterless. Well, you'd be wrong because actually the Dyson has a filter. Um, you may not know it, but uh, those canisters. Uh, they still have a, an internal filter that you, that is replaceable, but you do have to replace this once in a while. Now their design does um, limit the amount of uh, of debris that gets to the filter, but you still do have to replace the filter. So um, saying that this is an inferior design because it has a, it requires a filter is kind of a, a non-argument uh, there. So anyway, uh, but one thing I do like about this design and may explain why I am uh, filming this inside of a car is that you can remove the handle of this stick vac and turn it into a car vac, which is, you know, where I, I remember seeing these kind of uh, style of, uh, of vacuums first appearing as car vacs. Now, granted, um, you do have to plug it into a wall socket somewhere, unless you have some sort of a transformer adapter in, in your vehicle, uh, but um, it's got a fairly long enough cord, and if you have an extension cord, you can just use this to um, to vacuum in your car. Uh, and it does have those two extra attachments, the brush head as well as uh, the crevice uh, nozzle. So yeah, you can use this to um, as a car vac, which is a, a definite bonus if you're looking uh, for a, uh, an, a second vacuum because you, know, you can use it for, for inside the house and also in your car. And if you're interested in picking one up, uh, I'll include product links in my full written article on my, on my website at moondogindustries.com. Please use that link. I get a tiny, tiny commission, but you know, every little bit helps. And if uh, you want to uh, support uh, my efforts in making these videos, you can do so free by just hitting the like and subscribe buttons and the notification bell right now, and you'll be notified when I post my next product review. And I really do appreciate uh, you uh, hitting that like and subscribe button. And um, thanks again for watching. I hope this was helpful. Moondog, out. Hey, I'd like to know what you thought of this video. Leave me a comment or chat with me on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, MeWe, Instagram, or Locals. And if you want to see all of my videos, go to MoondogIndustries.com.